Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday I did a story on the magnetic field moving away from Canada and towards Siberia. Well, this thing is far worse than what they're telling us. Um, they're literally trying to follow this thing and keep up with it, but it is moving at such a fast rate, they can't keep up with it at all. And this came out from Gizmodo uh, yesterday, and it was just updated three hours ago. So models can't keep up with migrating magnetic North Pole, and the government shutdown just made it worse. So what they're trying to say is many of these scientists that normally would be working are not. So this thing is literally moving. And it's not being monitored by enough people right now. <laughs> so let's get into this. Boy, you can't make this stuff up, y'all. Rapid and erratic movements of Earth's north magnetic pole have prompted an early update to a model that assists with navigation. The... Schedule fix was supposed to happen on January 15th, which is today, but the U.S. government shutdown has forced an unwelcome delay. The magnetic North Pole shift is at an unprecedented rate. Over the last 30 years, the rate um, was what they said about 15 kilometers a year. Um to around 55 kilometers per year, according to uh, nature. So now it's even faster. It's beyond that 55 kilometer or 34 miles an hour. Okay. So it's going over much of what it said yesterday. So they were supposed to meet about this today and the government shutdown doesn't allow them to meet. So they are very concerned about this, y'all, because it's never been seen before. You know, the magnetic shield actually protects this planet from radiation. Now, what do you think is going to happen if certain individuals on this planet that are notorious for burning is left without protection. What do you think is going to happen? You know, we're not all impacted by radiation the same. We're not. You know, it, it affects people that are melanated far different from people that lack in melanin. So, I understand their concern. So I tell you what, this is more proof that the people that claim they're in charge are not in charge at all. Look like the most high up there is still in charge of this planet and he's showing you right now who's really, really in charge. And it's not the ones that claim they got a high IQ. It's not them. See, when these type of things happen and weather phenomena happen, they have no control over it. They are absolutely defenseless, ladies and gentlemen. They are. They're defenseless. So we are going to be in for a very interesting warm season this year. Wait until everything heats up across the country for spring and summer. I think we're going to be in for something special, y'all. You know, without that shield over North America now, what do you think is going to happen? You know, and you got Bill Gates trying to block out the sun, which is not going to happen, y'all. I don't care what millions of dollars he got behind it. You are not going to stop the sun's heat and radiation from reaching the planet. You are not going to do it. 
So, you know, they can put together their weather balloons and whatever and rise them up there towards the sun all they want. It's counterproductive. It will not work. This shield moving, it's no telling what will happen because it's something that has never been seen before, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, right now what we are looking for, I mean, looking at is the fear of the unknown, y'all. This is unknown, it's unfamiliar, and they don't know what's going to happen. They don't. So we will see some very interesting things. We're only days away from the blood moon and many are in fear of that blood moon. I have been out and about. That end time prophecy is not just being spoken among us. It is being spoken among Gentiles as well. And they are scared. They are showing their fear. And as we get closer and closer, you're going to see them showing more and more fear. See, there's a reason why we're seeing all of this behavior that we are seeing. Just acting out in public, being violent in public and calling the police on absolutely nothing. They're feeling it too. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. This whole thing is very interesting and I do intend on following it. And it's amazing, y'all. I don't believe it's a coincidence that this is happening during the government shutdown, when these scientists are not really able to watch this thing like they want to. Nothing is ever a mistake, y'all. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.